Welcome to Witness Wednesday here on the Walk Boldly with Jesus podcast. I'm your host, Katherine Duggan. However, each Wednesday, I will have a guest give their witness of how God is working in their lives. Hearing how God is working in other people's lives shows us how deeply He cares for each one of us individually. Listening to these experiences will help your faith grow. I am so blessed to be able to share these with you. Let's get started. Today's witness is my friend and fellow classmate, Linda. Linda is the author of the book titled Heart-Centered Leadership, Seven Soft Skill Keys to Build Effective Teams. You can find that on Amazon, and I will also put a link in the show notes. Today, Linda is sharing with us her witness about how amazing and hard at times this past year in the Encounter School of Ministry Boston campus has been. She talks about what the year was like, what she learned, how she grew, and also about a miracle that happened to her at one of our healing services. Take it away, Linda. Well, hello, everyone. I know this probably isn't necessarily the best time to do a video, but it's on my heart. God's asked me to do this. And so in order to be obedient to my Lord and Savior, I figured I would just do it while it's fresh in my memory. So I've been asked to share about my experience with Encounter School of Ministries. It's a two-year program and I've completed year one. And I have to say that although I've been part of prayer groups and I've been part of praying with people and different formations, This one, whew, one, it's work, but that's okay. It's good work. It's it's amazing work. Um, And the structure is just set up in such a beautiful way with an amazing support team and teachers and, of course, the most awesome teacher of all, the Holy Spirit. But what I find so amazing is we were involved for many years with the intercessors of the Lamb and the charismatic groups and prayer and worship and God has just had on my heart so much since this whole thing, since things were shut down and everything else with COVID that worship and praise is just so huge and what we need to be doing because before every battle, Judah was sent before all the rest of the Israelites, the tribe of Judah. And Judah means praise. And God designed praise to go before everything. And what is so cool with this program is that praise was the start of everything. Praise and worship of our blessed sacrament, our Jesus, our God, in such an amazing holy way and with music and singing and praising and oh it's just so beautiful so throughout the year we just really learned our identity how to hear god's voice um how to pray with people sharing prophetic words you know because you know the prophecy of jesus it's it's for today you know um And so we also, you know, prayed with other people. We saw so many healings, so many breakthroughs for people to to just, and when I say breakthrough, I mean Holy Spirit breakthrough coming and just breaking chains of bondage and things like that. And one of the amazing things that happened is we went kind of on a field trip to Um, a parish in Wilmington, Massachusetts, where we had a night of healing and prayer. And of course, we started with praise and worship. There was a teaching by Deacon on, you know, the gospel, which speaks of, you know, the commissioning of the 12 and then of the 72 to go out and heal the sick, raise the dead, you know, release the captives free, um, you know, from demons and and all of that. And so there was a a preaching on that uh, lesson. And then we had corporal prayer, which means we prayed all together for each other, for the people around us. And one of our 
teachers was near me and she was praying, you know, with me and for me. And we were covering backs and hips and, you know, legs. And I've had scoliosis since I was a teenager that I'm aware of anyways. Um, and I've had back issues since I can remember. And as we were praying, I mean, honestly, I go to the chiropractor every two weeks, okay, or every month for sure. And I've been doing this since I was 18 years old. Um, because when I was 18 or maybe 20, I was in so much back pain. I had bone scans. I've had going to the chiropractors. I had x-rays. I wore a brace. I mean, you name it. My back was in excruciating pain so often, especially my lower back. But what, what she uh, prayed with me, she asked me, is one leg shorter than the other? And it is, which I think causes some, some issues or I should say was. So that night, um, I sat very still in the pew and put my feet straight out into her palms and she held them, her hands, her palms open like this so that I could just put my heels into her palm. But I was very careful not to put my weight on her. And I had my eyes closed, receiving, and just asking the Lord to do what he's going to do. And she was just praying. And I felt this tug on my left leg. And I was like, oh, am I, am I, is she, is she squeezing my, my foot? You know, it kind of felt like that. And so I opened my eyes and her palms were still open. And I was just resting my, very gently on her. And I just watched my left leg grow a half an inch, half an inch. It was so crazy. God is so good. He totally grew my left leg. They are even, of course we prayed for the scoliosis. You don't always get everything, but I will tell you my left leg was lengthened that night in March. And so I went to the chiropractor and he said, yep, same length. And I ran, um, a half marathon almost fell and I twisted my hip. So the next time I went, um, I was off and I thought, Oh man, but really I literally twisted my hip, like, you know, from this to like that It was really weird. Um, so he put me back in place and I went back again in a couple of weeks and my legs were fine. And I went back in a couple of weeks later and my leg length was perfect. Well, I've been traveling for work and everything else. And now my chiropractor appointments didn't happen since April 25th. And I just went last week after all that time and my legs are still the same length. They are equal. So I am completely two legs, the same length. Now God is so good. And that is what God is doing through encounter because he wants to heal everyone. He wants our hearts healed with inner healing, our souls healed to get closer to him. He wants to penetrate us so much because he loves us so much. And I can say that I'm able to share this so that others can understand like God is real, like he is real and he is alive and he is moving so much and especially in this new england area we need this we always say we're the frozen chosen out here and hearts are being moved hearts are turning back to the lord and coming back to our true identity in jesus christ in him in the sacraments in him especially in the blessed blessed sacrament of the altar you know and his most sacred heart oh i can't even tell you and the joys and how often people have reached out now to pray. Um, you know, there's many people who we just share some things and the next thing you know, they want a prayer every week or every three weeks because they're going through something and their hearts are turning to peace and to Jesus. And it is such a gift and we just want to give it away because what he's done for us, he can do for you. So thanks for listening to me ramble on. Yes, God is so good. And when we're open, the Holy Spirit talks to us. I mean, I just came from Holy Mass at the Shrine in Lowell. And after receiving Jesus, I just had how great thou art in my heart. And I was singing it in my head. 
And then at the end of Mass, the priest just breaks into that song. That is Holy Spirit. You are on the same page. It's hearts having joy, hearts worshiping, hearts praising our God before any healings can happen. Because God goes and fights our battles. And when we praise him, mm, 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 he just comes and clears the path and we are healed. So may you be blessed. May you be healed of anything that is heavy on your heart, heavy in your body. I just pray for you. Shalom. Shalom. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Linda. It is amazing that your leg grew out. I was there at the healing service and got to celebrate with you. Your description of the past year of encounter was great. If you're listening to this, and you want to have an amazing experience like Linda and the other 41 classmates had last year, check out the link in the show notes or go to EncounterMinistries.com. No matter where you live, you can experience Encounter School of Ministry. If you're local, I'm partial to the Boston campus as the activations are really good in person. However, I know several people who also did the online version and loved it. Check it out. The first few classes are free, so you get to try it out before you have to make a decision. What could be better than that? Thank you again, Linda, for your awesome witness. I hope you will join me again with another witness of how God is working in your life. I am sure we will see plenty of ways God is working in the world in our upcoming year at Encounter. We have all seen God working in our lives. However, we might not all be aware it is God who is working in our lives. This is why it's so important we start talking about it more. The more we share our experiences, the more people understand how God works and how much he truly loves us. If you would be willing to share any of your experiences of how God has worked in your life, please email me at katherine at findingtruenorthcoaching.com C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E at finding truenorthcoaching.com or you can click on the link below. It won't take up much of your time and your story could be just the story someone needs to hear today. Please prayerfully consider sharing your story. Everyone has one and the world needs to hear them. I look forward to spending time with you again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. I will have another witness for you next Wednesday. Have a blessed day. 